What's going on, everybody? My name is Bendy, and this is the state of the game for 2021. I don't remember if I did this the last time, because I think they do this uh, state of the game thing twice a year, but uh, we're going to check it out today. I'm curious to see what they say. I know it's usually just a bunch of just like mumbo jumbo that doesn't really mean a whole lot, but I think they usually do update uh, their long-term plans with the game. That's always fun to check out a little bit, right? So uh, I'm sure there's a couple of plans that are in the works that uh, that we can check out and look forward to. So let's get right on into it. Full disclosure, I don't have a ton of time right now, so I'm just going to try and get this done really quick, and maybe this will be like a totally unedited video pretty much, so just be totally raw reaction, you know? All right, so welcome to the state of the game. Uh, we look forward to the end of the year and out into 2022, where we're reflective on what we've accomplished in Disney Heroes and examining how we can polish and improve the game in the future. Uh, I don't particularly care about the first paragraph. Around the world as a large number of people change some jobs as more companies embrace remote work and people really examine what they want and work in life. We've had a number of employees leave for Blue to pursue exciting opportunities at other game studios, study at law school, or spend time with family. I uh, don't particularly care. There are uh, more projects currently in the works at Per Blue, and we want to assure that they are not affecting Disney heroes. Uh, those projects you've discovered through your sleuthing are currently in limited release or beta testing and have their own dedicated teams. Our company is growing to allow us to explore more areas of the gaming space and experiment with more ideas and concepts. This isn't a state of the company though, so back to Disney Heroes. Yeah, so it was in May. I'm pretty sure I did react to that for you guys. That was probably one of my first reaction videos ever, to be honest. Uh, so this is just what we've done since May. They improved Epic City Watch, they gave Red Skill Sliders, Max Skill Button, cool stuff like that. Uh, they improved the Power Crafting and Power Promote to help save time. Uh, they added the Hero Filters, they introduced the Prize Wall. So that's all the stuff that they've done since the last day of the game. So let's check out what they're doing going forward here. We have a great lineup of characters planned for the rest of the year that will introduce new IPs into the game and expand some existing groups. Uh, we've heard your feedback on hero refreshes, so we're planning to do some smaller stat buffs. Uh, we had moved away from those to allow design to focus on a single hero and do a more complete refresh, but those sometimes take as much time as designing a new hero, and they've been delayed recently. We have a full refresh in the works for 3, 4, 10, so I think that's the next update maybe? Um, and we'll look to make a balance between in-depth refreshes and stat buffs going forward. So it sounds like they're planning on having occasional full hero refreshes, like the Shank one a couple months back, and then uh, they're gonna sprinkle in a few like the Basil ones, Basil, sorry, uh, a couple of the Basil type of refreshes as well that are just kind of like really small stat buffs and stuff like that, uh, which is good. I think that is definitely very important, especially for some of the older heroes in the game. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking for like Jack Skellington and stuff like that, so there's plenty of heroes that definitely could use a at least somewhat of a rework, even if it's literally just a stat boost. I honestly think they should just give a general stat boost to every single old hero in the game, but I know they probably don't want to do that really, so uh, we'll just have to see what they come up with as time goes on. Uh, we're currently putting in the final polish on trial events. We talked a bit about that in the last day of the game, and we're working to have it ready for the next update as well. At least I assume 3.4.10 is the next update. I guess we'll see. Uh, we're leveraging the filter system to allow us to create team rules. For example, that you must use Baymax, you can't use blue heroes, etc, etc. Um, so it looks like the, uh, the trial events thing that they just introduced, um, you know, with the uh, damage uh, reduction thing on... Um, that they came out with this past week or whatever. Um, they're trying to expand that to make it even more difficult for us, so that's kind of exciting, I guess. Um, I'm always, I'm definitely very excited to get at least some kind of challenge in this game, because uh, I find myself as like kind of a strong player, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I find it difficult to find anything that I have a difficult time with or that is something to work towards, so that's definitely exciting to see. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of the uh, top players in the game will look forward to that as well. 
And the system will allow us the flexibility to make fun and unique events focused on heroes, which are the core of the game. Uh, we're starting some deeper analysis of our game system and economies to ensure they are healthy and we keep them growing at a balanced rate. We're in early brainstorming for expanding cosmetics in a new direction and a possible scavenger hunt system. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Um, as we plan for the long term, we'll be asking again for your feedback and areas where we can uh, make quality of life improvements. I know you probably have a lot of questions, so keep an eye out for a dev Q&A opening up in the next week. So uh, if you guys have questions for Per Blue, uh, there's going to be a dev Q&A sometime in the next week. So if you guys are into that sort of thing, go for it. Uh, we'll have some questions for you and uh, give you the space to ask again for us. And I think that is it. So this wasn't too, too much of a thing to read. Um, I think the the trial events thing sounds very interesting. I hope they implement that really well because I think that would bring um, definitely something fresh into the game. Because um, honestly, the game is sort of stagnating a little bit. It's kind of just been more or less the same for the most part for a very long time now. So bringing some new trial event type things like that would be uh, quite exciting. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to more hero refreshes and stuff like that. So. Um, not a whole lot going on in this update, or this uh, state of the game, but we got a few things. So I think that's going to be it. I know this is going to be a nice short video. It's probably going to be pretty much unedited for the most part, because I don't have a whole lot of time to actually edit before I go to, go to work. So, um, Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, if, uh, let me know what you guys think of the state of the game. Um, what kind of uh, future updates do you guys want to see in Disney Heroes? Obviously everyone wants new heroes and new hero refreshes. Uh, but just uh, uh, maybe just other game improvements in general, maybe uh, some like game mode improvements and things like that. What kind of stuff do you want to see in Disney Heroes? Uh, I'm sure, I don't know if anybody from Purblue actually watches my videos, but um, I'm sure maybe somebody will be watching and it might actually come true for you guys. So anyways, that is going to be it. Um, peace. Three, four, five, four, four, four. How did Google down? What?